hello there welcome to synconics so in this video we will see about module multi branch and uh, its related functionalities all right so basically we can use uh, this module when uh, your uh, company has different branches uh, spreaded over different uh, physical locations suppose uh, one branch is situated at uh, san francisco other is located as uh, um, Chicago third one is at New Jersey so like that if you want to bifurcate and divide uh, several your ERP operations uh, across various branches and want to see different reports according that so you can use our multi branch module and it is so easy to configure and so easy to use so we can see first of all that uh, we, we will see that uh, on which operations we have uh, divided these multi branch functionalities over here okay now uh, after installing our module you can see that the, uh, if uh, multiple warehouses scenario will be enabled so that uh, warehouses will be automatically divided by branch wise uh, warehouse locations will be divided by branch wise you can easily manage your contacts branch branches wise right uh, crm leads and opportunities will be divided branch wise all right so sales teams uh, sales quotations and sales orders we can bifurcate as branch wise uh, different uh, uh, delivery orders will be bifurcated branch wise uh, you can bifurcate customer invoices also uh, different purchase quotations and purchase orders receipts can be bifurcated branch wise uh, different vendor bills generated in the system can be bifurcated branch wise we can uh, do inventory adjustments uh, by different branches uh, we can also uh, transfer uh, our uh, uh, different products related stock internally from uh, one branch to another branch we can see inventory reports branch wise we can generate credit notes for our customers receipts uh, payments and as well as uh, general entries so these kinds of functionalities uh, we have bifurcated over here so we can manage them easily branch wise so we will come on uh, our system so as you can see that you can see this is a version 12 enterprise edition all right but uh, uh, if uh, you want to purchase our model for uh, any community edition so it is also available all right so we will go to settings and as you can see that we are using Udo version 12 enterprise edition all right now here first of all we will go to contacts so we already made some records to show you the functionality of multi branch all right so these are contacts over here so as you can see that we will take one example of our one contact all right so over here you can see we have provided one branch option so you can see uh, different branches config already configured over here all right now like this when we will group this data according to various branches so you can see that these contacts are divided branch wise this is los angeles san francisco chicago like this all right so like this you can easily buy forget your contacts branch wise all right next we will move to crm and we'll see our leads and opportunities okay so when you will click on leads so that by clicking on one lead you can see we have provided branch information over here all right so like this you will be able to manage multiple branches from these leads coming on uh, opportunities all right so when we will group by this by branch so you can see that opportunities can also by forget by different branches over here like this all right now we will move to sales teams okay so here for uh, sales teams you can also bifurcate it you, you you can also bifurcate these uh, 
so as steam via branch like this so you can easily configure here you can take these different cell steams branch wise okay all right next is uh, cells all right so now here you can see that uh, there are some cell orders generated here so we will group this cell orders uh, cell quotations and cell orders by uh, branch wise so as you can see that this cell orders we have bifurcated branch wise right we will click on one of them and you can see on another information we have provided branch information all right so this is related how cells quotations and cell orders uh, we can by forget over here branch wise next is uh, related to purchase so like sales orders here purchase orders are also by forgetted branch wise like this all right so you can also group by this okay now coming on to inventory so here you can see that warehouses we can also by forget them branch wise and their related st stock locations we can also by forget them branch wise all right so these are stock locations so uh, when we will configure multi branches over here then their warehouses and locations will be automatically bifurcated by the system over here all right now we will uh, proceed for transfers so from sales orders and purchase orders whatever kinds of uh, delivery orders and receipts are generated so they can be also bifurcated branch wise so like this you can see that here these are various operations generated so you can uh, define branches over here like this you can see right so like this you can define different branches like this right so just like for uh, delivery orders for uh, incoming receipts also you can uh, define branches over here so these kinds of transfers will be generated by system branch wise all right and uh, when we will go to some purchase receipts over here like this so you can define branch over here on purchase receipts also okay now coming back on inventory when you want uh, any kind of uh, internal transfer suppose uh, I am creating one internal transfer record for example that is operation type all right so here basically by going to configuration operation types will be also bifurcated by system branch wise like this automatically okay so by going to transfers and uh, by selecting operation type as internal transfer like this you can define source location as well as destination location for different branches like this you can define one source location and by going to uh, destination location you can define one destination location like this okay and you can uh, define branch on this record also all right now we will move to inventory adjustments 
so you can do inventory adjustments also branch wise suppose uh, this is was one inventory adjustment we can define branch over here and by starting inventory we can define uh, different uh, products over here right and it will uh, make inventory adjustments on this inventorized location okay now we will go to reporting and uh, generate one current inventory report so like this suppose here we have taken branch on the list view of records over here so you can also able to see branches different branches over here like this so you you can be able to see branches on uh, this inventory reports also all right now we will go to accounting okay so here on customer invoices we can bifurcate them branch wise so as you can see in the list view also these branches are displayed over here and we can also group data branch wise like this same like uh, vendor bills here we can also group them branch wise and bifurcate data branch wise like this all right we can also define branches on receipts so you can see branch over here on credit notes we can also define branches like this when we want to do some manually payments to our customers so we can also define branches over here like this right so data can be displayed over here in the list view branch wise and of course you can also group them branch wise like this all right and you can also see general entries done by the system over here branch wise like this so we have also bifurcated general entry scenario by branch wise like this you can easily group them branch wise and see general entries records over here right so like this basically you can uh, be able to manage all kinds of uh, Udo basic operations for uh, different uh, modules over here and by forget your data branch wise okay and you can uh, assign different users to different branches and after that they will be only able to see data by branch wise and uh, branches managers will be able to see data for uh, all branches whatever we have configured branches for them all right so this is all about our multi branch module functionality thank you for watching